Hello, this is Yuri. I would like to talk about how we can create responsive layouts in Drupal. As at the moment having a project, we usually depend on front-end developers who build them. But having all these SaaS grid systems, we can actually do that from settings and with no front-end developers nil at all. So I have done integration of the panels with Zen Grids and I would like you to see how it works. For example, we want to create a page. Let's call it responsive. Uh, the sandbox module I have created, it adds a new type of layout. Continue. And it also integrates with breakpoints module. If you don't know what it is, it allows you to create your theme breakpoints. And for this example, I have created two of them. First one is the desktop version that has minimum width and the phone that has maximum width of 480. When we are creating a panel, we can define parameters of our grid. Let's say desktop version will have 12 columns grid and 10 pixels gutter and the phone will have 4 with 2. Debug is the checkbox to show the grid and background. It is useful for development purposes. Continue. Let's finish and now let's add some content. Uh, new content. Okay, let me have some text here and title. Now we go to CSS properties and here we define how many columns this paint should be with. Let's have five with offset of two. Save. Oh, sorry. Uh, the font, we should define that as well. Let's have a two starting from first. Save. Let's add one. Random sum. Let's uh, this one to be also no. let's have it three starting from eight and for the phone it will be two of two and let's have some kind of footer it will have a lot of text and for the footer we want to have 10 starting from second we add a clear so it will go to the next line and here let's say we want to have four starting from one and also clear save save now let's see how it works oh yes we have forgot one thing and we also need to change the style of the region. It should be SAS container. Now we updated it and you can see that first pane is exactly five columns and this is the second pane and the last one is third pane. And now let's go to responsiveness. Yes. Here is a switch. Okay. Oh, I don't like the second pane. So, second pane is two starting from three. Save, save. Let's update. Okay, here we go. 
and uh, if you like to see it please give it a try and remember that uh, your site should have SAS and Compass installed. Thank you.